My name is Venkar. I'm going to demonstrate you MP LabX, the new IDE platform that's being used to program our microcontrollers. The cool thing about MP LabX is it actually runs on three operating systems and it also has multiple debug stations at the same time. Right here, I have like two realizers connected, and a PICI3 connected, and a PICI2 connected. So I have a project that's actually running right now on Realize, and I can show you a demonstration of the project. It's a graphic, graphics library project. And uh, this MP LabX has a lot of features, and you can also add plugins to it because it's totally based on NetBeans. As an MP Lab 8, we don't have workspaces anymore. We have different projects. If you actually look at the project properties, you can see the tools connected to the project properties. Right here, we have two realizers connected. We have a Picket 3 connected and a Picket 2 connected. For the project that's running, we got to stop the project to actually look at the project properties. So once you stop the project and look at the project properties, it, it's running on a Realize uh, tool, and the device is a PIC32MX360F512L, and we use a C32 compiler for it. MPLabX, it has a lot of plugin support, as in if you go to the team and look at the plugins that it supports, it supports the CVS uh, source control repository, Mercurial, and Subversion. It also has something called local history, wherein if you don't check in your files to the source control, you can actually look at the local history of the file changes that I did from yesterday, today, and all those stuff. The other cool thing is there's something called, uh, called graph. If you want to see the various function calls inside the main function, all you need to do is click on main and do a show call graph. It just opens up a big, uh, big diagram that shows all the function calls that are done inside the main function. For example, if you want to see what are the function calls inside ADC store temperature method, you just click on it and you see a big graphic thing that, that generates all the function calls made inside ADC store temperature. So you just expand and it just goes on and on. The cool thing about this is you can actually export it to an image file and save this image file and you know print it out and take it for a code review and that helps you a lot in actually seeing your complete architecture of the code you have written. And there is one something uh, one more thing called the task menu task window where you can actually write your to-dos and various things that you, that says okay this is a bug I want to fix it later. So that's one cool thing that we added in MPLAB X that was not present in MPLAB 8. The other thing is, if you go to the Windows menu, you can see the various uh, memory views like SFR registers, configuration bits, and peripheral memory, etc. And uh, the editor in MPLAB X is a lot more advanced compared to MPLAB 8 editor. And in MPLAB X editor, it's very similar to NetBeans, if you have used NetBeans before. And it has uh, various features like going to the last edit or you know searching for different files and whatnot and uh, if you if you go to the project properties there is something called configurations you could have multiple configurations for the same project and uh, for example if you have a project that you want to run for multiple devices all you need to do is have multiple configurations one for each device and just run the project as it is so you just go and change the configuration in the configuration menu here and uh, change the configuration to something else and then run the project. So that's pretty cool because you don't have to have like multiple workspaces or multiple projects for the same device. For, if you have any more questions for MPLabX, you can always go to our web website microchip.com and search for MPLabX there. Thank you.